Awesome. So this is how we add a calendar. Just click the green button to the right, that plus one, and we'll add our calendar. And so we're going to, there's, there's, there's four different models to go off of, but you're going to go off a of consultant model. Um, okay. Gym model, reoccurring class model. So live event model, you don't need any, any of those. So we'll go consultant model. Um, and then we'll click create to the, to the, to the top, right. Okay, perfect. So we'll just name our calendar. Um, anything, anything, it's not specific for any seller or buyer. It's for anyone and everyone. So, um, going to put it in. Oh, should I do it as Austin's boutique realtor or no? Yeah, you can for sure. You can name it whatever. This is just your calendar. This is internally. No one sees this name, but you. Oh. Okay. Um, do you have more than one calendar then? You can, but you don't need, you're not going to need it. Like I don't, I don't have more than one. I just have one. No? Okay. And then I guess I have to um, set up zoom too. Like you have. Yes. You'll want to do that for sure. For sure. For sure. We'll do that. Unless you're taking phone calls, I, I mean, if you're taking to. phone calls, then, you know, you'll take phone calls. But if you're doing Zoom calls nowadays, then, yeah, you can just put a link in the in the email. Um, okay. and, and I'll show you where to do that right here. So in this first step, you can always add a logo right there. And, and that's the size 250 by 50. So what you can do is you can easily reach out to maybe someone on Fiverr. That should be a $5 job. That's a $5 job, someone on Fiverr. You already have your logo. So if you were to reach out to whoever did your logo, for example, reach back out to them and say, hey, man, can you put, me to, can you put together a, 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 a PNG file, 250 by 50? Actually, you know what? We, you, I could do that for you for free. I, I mean, I can easily go to Canva. You already have the, the, the logo. Do you ever use right. Canva yourself? I do. Oh, I don't know that I've got the paid account, but I have an account. No, you just need the free one. That's all. So, yeah? so, okay. so later on, go to Canva and, and you'll just do the custom dimension and you'll just type in 250 by 50 and then upload oh, yeah. your logo and, oh. and, and, and create, create one for this right here. This is the, this is the one that they see at the top of your calendar right there on the top, your logo. Good. Yeah, I so actually, um, my company has a, um, an art department and they created that logo for me. I just perfect. gave them the perfect and the perfect. Yeah. So perfect. if I have to. Yeah. So if anything, you can reach out to them or you can easily do it on right. Canva. Take you two minutes. Okay. 250 by Great. 50 is what you want. And then, and then over here down, select template. You can change the colors that they, that the, that the client would see on your calendar. So we can go with that blue. We can go with this orange or this gold color, whatever it is. There's many different oh. colors. So you yeah. can choose the right. way your, your, your colors are. Um, right. So go ahead and choose anything right now and then just hit save oh, at the top. Yeah. Okay. So just hit save and then save and next. And then we'll go to the schedule. So down here, um, this is kind of just giving us a rundown of how it's going to, how, how the setup is, but just click the green button, the bottom. And we'll just go, yes, I understand. And then this right here is a setup. So if you scroll to the top, you'll be able to add a class title, a class description, which um, kind of just gives you an example right there. So you can just put something um, um, like the title, your free strategy yeah. call or, or, or consultation call or whatever the heck you want to name it. I mean, yeah, I think I just call it consultation call. Yeah. And you can always change this part. So, yeah, okay class description you could put something you know you could put a, a, some, a small description of buying and selling or something like that just put you can always change it you'll think of something I later call it homeowners okay and then the no, one hour the duration and then and then the selected team member so hit that drop down and you're going to choose your name and then just click on add and then right here to the left or down, you'll see available days. And so all you're going to do is just hit that drop down and choose, check the days. And then, and then you could just okay. go. So know, like it's days. not available on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and do everything. Let's do everything right now. So go ahead and just go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then, and then to the right, the start time, just scroll down if you need Saturday. Oh. Okay, so there goes Saturday. And then the time, and then, 
select time, hit that drop down to the oh, right, here. select time, and then just choose a time or times. So just go ahead and check every time, maybe by the hour. So if you're going hour yeah. long calls, you know, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Won't be as long as an hour, but I'll do 10. So six thirty, just in case. Perfect. Okay. And then over here to the right, what I do is I'll uncheck. Right now we're in February, so I would right. uncheck March, April, May. Like I don't want someone to come to my calendar and book a call in July. Oh, you know okay, I mean? right. So I'll right. uncheck all those months. Would you uncheck March already? Yeah, yeah. Uncheck it. Uncheck March and on. Uncheck them all. Uncheck them. Um, so they and then have to come. In every month and make sure you check it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's the only part you'll want to micromanage. But I mean, well, and and I, I micromanage it by the week. Like if you go to my calendar, you'll only see availability until the end of the week. Because I'm trying right. to get all my calls booked this week. Not don't schedule a call in two weeks with me. You know, so, so do, like you you would um I might as well want to check that. So you would go how yes. would you do it? Just, yes. just the week. I would go right now is the eleventh. So I would book me. This is just me. Like, this is just me. In real estate, you are a little different in real estate. But but in my case, I would I would have that calendar only up to the 19th. So right now it's Thursday the 11th. I'll give people the ability to schedule any time with me next week. But that's right. for this. And that's that, yeah. that goes. So if I'm working Saturdays, it's the 20th. So I'm only booking. No, from, I, yeah, I think even for real estate, that's smart. Yeah, right. Like, don't book in three weeks with me. I want to talk to you now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so showing, letting the calendar reflect that, that gives people the urgency to schedule now because there's no other time. Like, schedule now. Right. So the 29th, change that. Put 20th. I gotcha. That, that's all of next week. So, so no, the 29th, change the 29th. Oh. So, change it to the 20th. So, that gives people all the way till next Saturday. They can they can book so anything I don't with have to you. Worry that it says the first. No, no, it's from the first to the twentieth. Yeah, that's fine. And, okay. then, and then and then maybe 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 next week just schedule it a, a, a week later. You know, go mm. uh, next week. Come back in here. Maybe come back here on the eighteenth, or maybe come back here on the fifteenth, and 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 now change the twentieth. Change it to the twenty seventh. Right. Right. Okay. That's what I do. Yeah. I just, Remember how you got in here? You just hit my calendars, and then there was a an edit button. Yes, yes. There's okay. there's a the three dots. All you do is click yeah. on the three dots, edit, okay, and then come yeah. in. Yeah, and that's where we're at right now. So now now I, scroll to the bottom. In Carter to edit, you always have to hit those three dots. Yes, yes. So scroll mm -hmm. down, and let's um, see what's below. We'll go down a little further, and the number of sessions one mm -hmm. and then and then minimum booking notice I, me personally i don't take same day bookings now you could be different in real estate you you'll probably take it within the hour shit you know what i mean real estate but me i don't yeah. like taking the same day booking so i'll change my booking right. notice um so hit the drop down you'll have different options you'll see um don't allow same day booking don't allow bookings for today or tomorrow right so you could just put whatever you want on that or you could just leave okay. no, no, no. Booking. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's that. You can always change that later. So scroll to the very top. We all, we always have to hit, not only do we always have to, and then you could block out any specific dates as well. So if there's an anniversary, Valentine's, Christmas, whatever, you can always pick a date to block out a, a date. Really? As well. Oh, look, here it says only bookings within the next seven days. Yeah. See, so you could do that too. Yeah. You choose that option there as well, or just change the dates above. So totally okay. up to you. Block, block specific dates. That's that's yeah. great too. Click click inside, pick a date, click right there, and you'll see it open up. There you go. Those so are the no dates. One. And when I pick the date here, it's the date I'm blocking. Yes. So no one can okay. schedule on that day. Good. Yeah, yeah. So now scroll to the very, very top, click on save. And then, and then we'll come back down to the bottom and save a next. There you go. Save a next. So now we're on the next step, which is the registration. So this is going to be free. So scroll down. This is where you can add a field. So if you're not doing Zoom calls, 
then you'll maybe want to add a field and ask for their phone number. Right? This is someone oh, scheduling so a call okay. with you. Oh, I got it. So this is going to kind of, this is going to go on the email. No, this is going to go on the, on when they're scheduling a call. So when they go to your cal oh. or when they're scheduling, when they go to your calendar, they're going to choose Tuesday at 4 p.m. Right when they do that, it's going to ask them for their first name, last name, and email. Oh, okay. If you're doing phone calls, ask for their phone number. I'd love to do what you do because I don't know. It feels like, do you get a lot of people who say they want to call with you and then they're not there? I, no, no, it does. I, I've literally, like, I'm not exaggerating. Like I, like on this exact topic with real estate agents, I've literally had over, over a thousand, over a thousand, like I'm not exaggerating over, a, over 1000 appointments for sure. For sure. Since 2016 alone, wow. over, a, over 1000 for the record, for sure. 99 point, actually, no, 100%, 100%, 100% has been a zoom call. Wow. I've never and, been on a phone call. Up. But after they go to your calendar, they show up. Oh, heck yeah. They show up for sure. Okay. Thank oh, God. Knock yeah. on wood. I've had literally, and that's not 100% show up, but it's for sure 99.9. Wow. Which Good is for what I you. talk about on my YouTube channel a lot. I talk about that on my YouTube channel where it's very weird because I have a, I literally have a 99.99% .99 show up rate. Wow. Which is that's very good. weird. Very, very weird to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very weird. Normally in Great sales, thing. there's always people that have flake, you know what I mean? But right. And yeah, that's what sure. I well, I wonder. And I wonder if more people flake if you're supposed to call them or I don't know. I just no, kind of in this case, especially when someone's go, taking the initiative and scheduling a call with you, it's different. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. So so they're actually coming to your calendar, scheduling a call with you. They're and they're choosing their best time. You know what I mean? So no, they're so they're do it's, is it hard to set it up for Zoom? No, not at all. It's super easy. I'll show you how to do that. We'll do that on the next call, but that's super simple. Okay. So could they, um, I don't know if I had to hit that. Could they choose either to have a phone call or a Zoom call? Yeah, they could do that. So you could you could go ahead and put, um, hit the drop down right there, field identifier, and just put, just put, scroll down and, and go phone number, phone, phone with country or phone without. I'm not going to have people from yeah. another country. And then, and then right there, you can just go um, mandatory or optional, you know? And, and if you go, if you just leave it optional, then, yeah. then, you know, maybe if they don't put their phone number, okay, cool. And the email that that's going to go out to them, you have your link to your zoom. Okay. So All right. um, yeah, I leave it optional. Yeah. You leave it optional. Just leave it like that. So go ahead and hit. Um, so then, um, phone number, we're going to go, um, so we're going to scroll down and then select default country code and then just choose one for United States and then save at the top. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So that's, so now we just added the phone and then now we're going to, um, we're going to let you, let your users select their respective time zone. So hit save right there. Anytime you see a green button, you got to always click it. So save and then scroll up to the top. You'll see another green save. You'll need to save that or else you cannot move that it. One where they pick their time zone? Yes. And most of okay. them are going to be in your time zone. But I mean, right. you never know. Sometimes people are in different areas. So save and next. Right. Click next. Yeah, save and next. Oh, they're usually green. That's what I was looking yeah. for. So right here, this is a display confirmation me message. So this is what they see as they're scheduling. So it says, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do, scroll down. You can, you can always edit this right here. So this is, this is what they'll see um, as they schedule the appointment. But what I also yeah. do is I have them go to the confirmation page. So scroll down, scroll down. Click that to the right, that button right there to the right. Shade that, shade that. Yep, there you go. Click that. Now go to the left, external. Go down a Karcher page. So click that drop down, external. No, above. Here? Yeah, right there. External to the left, external. Oh, okay. Hit Kartra. Okay. And then go select site. Go no site. So select site to the left, select site. No site in particular, and then and then the Karcher page is the call confirmed. 
So scroll down and look for your call confirmed. There it is. This so, one says call confirmed. Is that the one I need? That's the one we just got done editing. Yep, call confirmed. So choose that one. And then um, and then so what you'll do in the in the um in the button text, instead of click here, mm -hmm. put 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 something like um click here to confirm our appointment. So right there. So click so so above, right where it says click here above in the text above. Go up. Uh -huh. No up. Up right there. Click here the button text. Okay. Click here to confirm our appointment. Click here to confirm our appointment. Okay. Okay. So now this congratulations. Here too. I just okay. click inform confirm our appointment. You think it needs to say here? It's up to you. Click here just in case. Okay. And it, you put too many spaces in there though. Scoot, scoot back a little bit. I put too many spaces? Where? No, that looks good. Click here to actually, I think between the between the here and the and the word two. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is there okay. too many spaces in there? Yeah, bring that back. There you go. Okay. So this message, this is what they see when they're when they're scheduling. So the congratulations, your appointment has been successfully booked, add to calendar, and that text right there. So if anything, you'll want to edit that text and you'll want to say something like, hey, if, if a phone call, you know, is, is what we'll do, you know, hopefully you put your phone number. If not, I'll be emailing you my Zoom link and I'll meet you on Zoom. Something like that. You can put, you can edit that right there. And then, and then they end up clicking that button, click here to confirm our appointment and they go to your call confirm page. And the reason why I want them to do that, I want them to click that button and go to a call confirm page is because that call confirm page is our custom audience inside Facebook ads manager. And it's also, okay. it, 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 yeah, mainly for that reason, because anyone who lands on that audience, on that page, we want to exclude from future ads. Yeah. Right. So, so that's they put their number in, right, I got you, I got that part. But if they put their telephone number in, that's giving me the, um, that's telling me I have to call them. If they don't yeah. put their telephone number in, they'll go to the Zoom, right? Yeah. And yeah, and that's something maybe you want to explain right there. So, so word that in a way where you can just write it, explain it right there, because that's what they're going to see when they're scheduling. They're going to see this right here. Um, okay. So... Maybe you'll want to explain something like that in your in in that in that area right there. You may I don't know. You make yours simple. You just go to the Zoom. I'm wondering if I should do that. Just do that. Yeah, you could do that. You'll think you'll 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 figure it out either way. So if anything, okay. you'll just go back to the other the other previous one and just take out the phone number. You know, so hit back, okay. hit back, and just you'll just be able to take out that phone number. The okay. ability. No, 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 no. Down, 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 back. So down, down, the down, there's the back. So in the, um, in the registration, I think it is actually, no, it's, is it in the time conversion? It's one of those hit change on one of those. Yeah. See, so you can always X out that phone number. Let's just X oh, it yeah. out. Just X it out and just do zoom, just do zoom. So okay. you can always add it back later, but scroll to the top, save. The Where do I want to go? The green one, save. And then, and let's scroll down, save and next. And then hit save at the top. You can change this out later. Come back in here and change that later. So save, save and next. And then the reminders. So this right here, yes, communicate with users. Choose that one. Yes, communicate with users. Oh, I go to this? Yes, communicate with users. Click on that. And then, and then down here, this is the email that it's going to be coming from. So as a person comes to your calendar and books, they're going to receive an email from me right away. That's a confirmation email. That's the same email you get when you book with my calendar, right? An right. email comes right. to you right away. That's the email it's coming from. So go to the top, hit save. And then down here, you're going to see the booking confirmation. So yes, send a booking confirmation. Choose yes on both of them. So yes. And then Immediately. go ahead and hit save. Hit save on that one. And then yes on the other one. Hit save on that one. Okay, so now 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 go back up 
to the change, the, the booking confirmation one, hit change on the booking confirmation one. So you'll do this part later, but this is the email side. We'll do the email side on, on our next call because the email side is, is way more time consuming. Um, and I'll teach you how to do that. But this is where we would write out that first email. So your booking is confirmed to the right. Don't click on it now, but to the right, there's that pencil. So when we click on that pencil, okay. it brings us into the editing of the email. Okay. Okay. So you can always play around with that later, but I can always help you on our next call. But so if you click on that pencil, that would be the booking confirmation. And then the second one, so hit save on the booking confirmation, hit the green one, save. Oh, up on top. I might look at your confirmation one and see. Yeah, what yeah, for sure. Just copy the same thing. And then down here, oh. you would put new reminder. So we'd go new reminder. Click new reminder. Where? I'm sorry, I don't see new down, reminder. It's, it's the big new reminder right there below email reminder. New oh, reminder. Okay. Uh, yeah. And so this right here, you can go one hour before, you can go a day before, you can remind them whenever the heck you want, three hours before your next call, whatever. You can change that one hour to whatever. But this is okay. the reminder email that you'll edit. And I'll show you how to do this part later. So okay. this right here is the email that they're going to receive. Okay. okay. So save. What do you hit, 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 What do you What do I what? There isn't a place to attach. Something. You don't need to attach anything. It's only if you wanted to, but there's, oh, okay. yeah, you don't have and to. This is where the email goes. Your The subject line is event booking reminder, but you can change all of this. That's what I'm saying. You can edit all this stuff. You're going to, you're going to edit all this stuff. So okay. we'll get back to this part later. But, I'm not going to do, I'm going to wait for you because I don't really know what it yeah, means. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So hit the save button, hit the green one. We'll come back to this and then, um, and then hit save right here. So those are the two emails that go out to them on booking. So save and next. Okay, so don't allow cancellations. Yes, allow cancellations. I go yes. If you need to cancel, go ahead and cancel. No big deal. So hit save. And then session approval, instant approval. Just leave that instant approval. If that time slot is open, it's approved. I don't need to manually approve anything. So hit save. Okay. And then save and next. And then automations. This is where we would um, subscribe them to a list. So go ahead and hit change on the subscribe to list. Down. No, no. Subscribe to list. Oh, I did something wrong. Hold on. How can I get at it? Well, it doesn't matter, does Just it? Just hit the green one. Hit save. Hit the green one. That's how you what? get out of it. You got to always hit the green button. So hit save. Oh, you want me to save that? Is that right? Yeah, Don't go ahead. With yeah, your... save. We're going to come back to that. Save it. So All right. Now you subscribe to, to list. Let's change. Yeah. So we're going to subscribe. Yes, subscribe to list. So anyone who schedules an appointment with you goes on a list. So yes, yeah, subscribe to list. And then hit the drop down and you should have that list already. I sent that over with everything. So schedule call appointments. That's the list. That's the list that then they're going to stop getting um, the, the Facebook ads. From yes. Me. Yes. So hit add, click the, the blue one, add. And we don't need to subscribe to a sequence here. We don't need to advance automation here. So scroll to the very top, hit save. The green one. And oh, the top subscribe to list. Okay. Do you use, do you use um, 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 Google Calendar? For anything i don't okay i good. used to have, okay i used to have Outlook, but i don't use google that's fine hit save and next okay and then we're done so hit karcher hosted page right there to the left karcher hosted page oh gotcha yeah karcher hosted page and then let's let's edit this link what up d give me one minute bro i'll be right there so edit, so now this is the link. So go ahead and click on that pencil. What up, D? Give me one minute, bro. I'll be, I'll, be there, I'll be there in two minutes. So this right here is what you customize. So you have that link forward slash 8DIH, like get rid of that. So, so you're going to customize that back end part. How am I going to do that? Delete it. Same thing yeah, you do with the pages. Okay. So this is your forward slash, name it, whatever the heck you want. So appointments, oh. 
or you know because you got the link to the left but then also Ballinger I'm always gonna have right yeah hit hit the drop down we have your domain over here so hit the drop down choose your domain oh this yep that's your domain choose your domain and then and then type in appointments or 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 calendar or whatever like you can always change it okay. so this is your link to your calendar click the check mark copy that link open it up in a new tab and save it that's your calendar okay let me okay look. Oh, sorry so, i know you got to be waiting no it's all good so copy that open it up in a new tab and now that becomes the link that you put on all the yellow buttons so when they click on that, they come straight to your calendar. So you'll want to add your picture. You'll want to right. add that logo at the top. Right. So go back to Kartra. So the logo was in the calendar editing as we just went through the, the, the dimensions 250 by 50. But the top right, the top right, add your picture in there. So hit that drop down, go to profile, add a headshot. You know, that's what that's what's going to show on your calendar. Okay. Okay. And that's uh -huh. it. And then on, on our next call, we'll go into the email sequence. We'll knock out the email sequence and then we're ready for ads. Okay. We'll just put a handful of so, emails together and then we'll, and then we'll launch. Really? Okay. So I should have my video and I should have that. Uh, the rest of the pages that go with that need to be in there. Well, here's what you right. should work on. We don't need the other get my pages right, th right now, but, um, click on save what here's your homework here's what i want you to work on here's what i want you to work on um go ahead and what put in the this? answer what? right there putting your security answer oh yeah yeah i don't know who the first person i kissed was you set this up <laughs> i set this up yeah you set that up so um your homework is going to be that thank you video oh it was right my homework's going to be did uh, you choose thank a picture? You yeah, thank you, video. You didn't choose a picture. Uh, no, I was going to go back and do that. If okay, that's cool. Okay. okay, do that later. Yeah. So okay. the homework is thank the thank you, you video. video. That thank you video, uh -huh. and then and then writing out, which you can easily do on a Word document or 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 Keynote or whatever whatever software, or you can even write it out on paper. Number one is the thank you video. And then, and then, and then homework number two is for you to write out a handful of emails, a handful of emails, two emails, three emails, a handful of emails following the seller guide. So if I go to your page and download that seller guide, what do I receive next email? Okay. The first email should be something like, Hey, John, thank you so much for downloading my 2120, my 2021 seller guide. This is what you're gonna. This is what we covered. This is what we're gonna go over in the seller guide. Hope you enjoy it. Um, click here to download your to download it now. Simple email. Just here's your PDF. Thank you for downloading. By the way, check for my future emails. I'll be educating you over the next couple of weeks on what it takes to sell. Simple. That's the first email. E first email number two. Count. Email number two is something like, "Hey John, thank you, thank you so much for downloading my seller guide a couple of days ago. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about blah blah blah?" So just just a handful of emails following that seller guide. And, and, and as I touched on before, what I would do is I would simply, my emails, I would be talking about the seller guide. Right. So if it's a 10-page okay. PDF, break down the pages over the next 10 emails. Okay. You don't have to write the whole damn page, but maybe maybe a little freaking couple sentences out of page three. Okay. So pull out that seller guide, pull out that seller guide. If I you pull out the seller guide, put it in front of you and, and just take pieces out of it on each page and make those your next 10 emails. Okay. Oh, hey, you John, want me to do 10 or three emails? Whatever, a handful. Like, like I would, okay. I, and, and my, my email, so email number three. Hey, John, this is Christine. Hey, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know a few days ago you downloaded my seller guide. I hope you, you're able to get through it with you and your family. Hey, do you remember on page four when I was talking about what it takes to sell in today's market. Here's what I meant by it. And I would okay. just simply put it in a, in a, in a few, in a, put a couple sentences, put a tweak to it. And that's it. Like all I'm doing is reiterating what is on page seven. Okay. And that not even sense. the full damn page, maybe just a paragraph. Maybe I'm just reiterating a simple paragraph on page seven. 
Okay. And, 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 and so all I'm doing is I'm, I'm just keeping, I'm, I'm staying top of mind. I'm staying top of mind of that lead, right? I'm staying top right. of mind. I'm, I'm, I'm continually educating him on what he downloaded seven days ago for me. Okay. Right? And, and, and in that email, you don't got to do this necessarily now, but I just want you to, you know, put together a basic email, but in the email, there's going to be the call to action. So in the email, hey, John, and by the way, man, if you want to jump on a call now, or if you want to schedule something this week, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. I can't wait to talk to you. You know what I mean? So, so these emails. But you help me put that link on there. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do on our next call. We'll, we'll go over the email sequence. But I just want you to get a handful of emails out now, write them down on paper. That way we have something to put together when we, when we talk next. Okay. Okay. So you think that's the only things that I need to do? I, I make sure all those um, pages that are going to go out in the from the ad are up to date and where you need them. Click, click on my pages. To the, well, what ad? What do you mean? What pages on the ad? What do you mean? Well, when we do the when we do my ad. Yeah, we have the landing page. The we have the thank you page. That's it. We're we're good with that. There's a there's a the, the there's the page. The, there's a thank you page. But I have to work on the call confirm page because I didn't finish that. Yeah, change the, the okay. footer. Yeah, knock that out. But the real the real thing is that thank you video and in a handful and of email. emails. Okay, so I'll work it. on it. Cool. And then we'll talk, oh, talk next. Thank you. Okay, Christine. Uh, talk to you soon. Have a yeah, good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.